Good morning, everyone. I've had some questions. Let me make sure I got the camera set right. About how the screen works and, and whatnot. So I'll go through briefly some of that at least. Um, of course, the tuning knob, it's buttery smooth. I love that. It just turns like butter. Um, what you'll see on the screen too, uh, you turn on the, the DX cluster download, it'll access the DX cluster, and download the, the um, call signs from and place them on the screen where where those signals are at. So you see one here, here, there's two here. What's kind of neat here is there's an asterisk by one. That means that guy is actually on a woof. There's a woof cluster as well. So any woof that's tuned and, and transmitting, then, then they'll show up on the woof cluster. And so if you want to contact somebody else that's on the woof, you can find them. Pretty nice, you got, but, but the tuning is real nice. You can also tune with your finger. You can you know, move it that way. Either way, you can tune it by touching. If you want to. And then they got this neat thing, you push and hold, it goes into free tune mode. And then the, the screen locks and you're actually moving the cursor back and forth. So that's kind of nice. A few other features, let me go in. Under services, you got propagation. And it's, you have to be connected to the internet for this. That loads in the propagation for, for the day. It's kind of nice. You got Tropo, which kind of shows you where the Storms and clouds are at. Of course, I have it. Sorry, I have it set for Eastern Europe. I need to fix that. I have it correct on my other radio, but I didn't do it on this one. But you can, it'll give you the map and then show you where where storms at. You can see them, see them coming in. So, and they have a daylight map. And sometimes, do it, try it one more time. Sometimes it thinks it has no connection, even though it does. That's... We'll come back to that one. <laughs> um, there's several different screen layouts. Right now I have, you can actually have a background on here. Let me show you, it's on the screen. Settings, and this menu is kind of like the Yesu menu. But you hit screen settings, and I said, no in the background, I can Turn that to yes. And now I got a the blue background that matches the, the bottom. What I kind of don't like about the blue is the, um, it's harder to see the, the cluster entries on the screen with the blue background. So I've been, lately I've been keeping that to know just to make things a little easier to see. And they also have, they have a lot of different themes. You can get rid of the the um, bands across here and just use the band button over here. If you want to, you can get rid of the menu at the bottom. There's, there's actually eight banks of menus. So with this thing, you can scroll between them. And, and this is the one I use the most. So I, I leave it there. Um, let's see. So let's go back in the settings. So they got different themes. Let's, let's go to the very first one, the default theme. I think this was on the very first um, versions of the Wolf had this thing. So you got these large frequencies and you got a... a S meter that kind of goes across like that rather than the actual needle looking one. We'll show you the other ones. Analog. So it gives you the that gives you the analog meter. You don't have the, the bands across there. These buttons are much larger. I'm not I don't really kind of like that, but you can do that. Show you the other one.
and the segmented numbers up top. Classic. Kind of like the first one we saw. Has the, the waterfall actually lower down than the than the other ones. Default plus. And it's not much different than default, but a little bit different. The point is, they have a lot of these. Analog plus. It's more of the analog look. CN. Now this is the one that's kind of like the one I had, but it doesn't have the the band buttons across the thing. Some people like that, some don't. So if I come back to CN Plus, which is the one I like, then you got the band buttons. Now I've also had the color set to this. Let's, let's make sure we go through them all. Now, CN Plus is the last one. Then you got the color theme, which I like the CN Plus green, because it, it kind of divides these buttons. But a lot of people like the, the standard CM, which is gray. And you get gray buttons here and gray menu things. To me, of course, my eyes are getting old. So it's a little bit harder for me to read that than the other one. And then they have, they have some other ones that are just kind of really, oops, sorry. Some really weird colors. This one's called colored. It's not too bad takes the color out of the the buttons altogether. Even though the title of it is colored, so <laughs> and they got this white one which to me is really offensive. It's hard to see. But if you like if you want white you can have white. I'm not sure why, but then they had this one, which I didn't like very well either. But they're not bad, but the the point here is they give you lots of choices. And you got CM plus white. That's not too bad. Let's see what's left. That's the last one. I like the CM plus green. It just makes the menu is even easier to read. So that's my default. So I hope this helped. Let me see if there's anything else I can show you. This is the, the compression button. Um, DNR, noise blanker. Now, I found that noise blanker one is pretty good, but noise blanker two is, is really good. And DNR one is good. And most of the static is gone. And DNR2, I mean, it gets rid of the noise completely. There is a little bit of water sound in it. Occasionally, it'll, if you got a good signal that you're on, it, it analyzes it and, and the water sound will go away and you get just a pure signal. But it does sound more digital than when you're not on DNR2. Notch is really good. You got, you got auto notch. And then you got manual notch. Whoops. And you can, with the function knob, set notch. If you look here, that's the notch frequency. And as I turn the knob, you can move the frequency. I don't know if I see any. Let's see if there's a signal over here. Turn it up a bit. So you can hear that. So let's. Let's find the frequency it's on. So it's 800, goes away completely. So I like the manual notch. I'm fast tuning. I usually keep it there. Slow tuning when you're going in hundreds. It takes forever to tune through a thing, so I always just leave it on fast. I think that's good for now. Good, good video. Thanks guys for watching.